welcome back to Tuck Talks Podcast. I'm Tuck Wright, your host. And here lately, we have been sharing highlighted moments from God's Word, His book. And like I've said before, um, for those of you who are jumping in and checking this channel out, um, first of all, welcome. And I'm grateful for you to stop by. But typically here on Tech Talks, we um, go through a faith-based book and, um, and we share highlighted moments. And um, I try to share highlighted moments and encouragement um, from, from those um, great books and those great um, ministers of the faith, just so I can encourage you guys and to keep you guys um, churning and burning and going along with God. And, and my, my job here is just to hopefully inspire you just enough to get you going and to look towards Jesus. Amen. Let's keep looking towards Jesus. And I want to share something with you today. And it's about gentleness. I have learned some really cool nuggets about gentleness. And I want to pull some notes that I actually found um, online as I was looking up gentleness. And I want to share with you, how did I get to this word gentleness? And I, I, I find it funny how God just brings you to little moments and you kind of go like through a rabbit hole t sort of thing and you you just keep going through like this little tunnel and you just keep grabbing here and there and you and you just you kind of like it's almost like picking flowers before you know it you have a beautiful bouquet of many different flowers that that um in combined it, it just looks like a um great display of art right and that's how I'm looking at it with gentleness and I'm and in fact um I, I felt like after this word gentleness, that God's like, why don't you go back to the fruit of the spirit and just kind of look and observe um, this beautiful array of flowers from his garden or from, or maybe another picture illustration could be a basket of fruit um, that he has displayed for you to pick from and to eat, to nourish your body to nourish you you back into him so before we start i like to begin with prayer to help us open ourselves up to hearing from the holy spirit today dear lord thank you so much for this moment thank you for um giving us little little pictures in our mind to help us uh, to get acquainted with you, to get an understanding of the word, and to cultivate a relationship with you, Jesus. Lord, help us to abide in you today. In Jesus' name, amen. So I got this word gentleness from listening to a Christian radio station, and it was from the lady who was talking. I don't even know her name. I don't even know what she looks like. But anyway, I was, I was driving around doing errands and I heard, um, the scripture that she shared from her devotional. And I just, I forgot everything else, but I kept hearing the scripture over in my mind and in my heart. And I forgot what, what reference she, um, had told in her little devotional time on the radio. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go home and I'm going to try to search, like do a word search and look for this scripture because it really ministered to me. And I found it. And so after I found it, I kept thinking about it and I kept thinking about more about the word gentleness. And so I, I do want to share some highlighted moments from a passage, of course, from the Bible, but then a, a passage that I found from um, an, um, a person, I think, I'll, I'll put it on the screen here. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but it was, I think, Desmond or Demon, Demon. I don't know. I'm not really good at that. that. M, 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 Bam, Benita, I don't know. I'm just going to put the name up here and you can read it for yourself. And I, I got this from his blog from um, back actually in November. It says November 7th, um, 2019 is when he wrote some of this 
this, this and it is such good stuff, you guys. And I want to share with you um, first the scripture and then some of my notes from his blog, okay? Okay, so the, the scripture that I um, heard and I found is 2 Samuel 22, 36. You have given me the shield of your salvation and your gentleness made me great. I, I, I love that. God's gentleness made me great. I had to think about this. How has God been gentle to me? And you know what? When I look back on the times I've raised my fist with anger and discouragement, oh, the Lord has been gentle and slow to anger to this girl right here. <sighs> and it has made me better. His gentleness has made me better. It has, I don't know if it's made me great yet, but it's in the process of making me great. And maybe for you too. But in this scripture, whoever wrote this, probably Samuel, um, and your greatness made me great. Oh, what a great um, reflection of, of God's great uh, greatness of his gentleness. But let me read to you some of the notes that I found. Gentle, being gentle, is about self-control, okay? An unwillingness to um, act and slash out at others. Now, can you imagine God? He has all the right to basically pull me over on his knee and give me a good old spank for the bad attitude I've had in the past. You know, he has the right to do that. He is my heavenly father, but he has this great gentleness in him, this unwillingness to, to um, slash out. Gentleness is a product of love. Oh man, not only love, but mercy. Who Lord's been merciful in me, y'all. Greatness is the manifestation of higher level of self-control. Gentleness also means giving up the right to judge what is good for ourselves and others as we rely on God's judgment and guidance for truth. Man, gentleness also means giving up the right to judge what is good. Wow. Being filled with the Spirit's fruit of gentleness, we turn to correct uh, others with easiness instead of arguing in resentment and anger. We do this knowing that their salvation is far more important than our pride or deserve to be praised. I thought that was very interesting. Um, yeah, that, that, that was that was good to me. Um, gentleness makes you willing to listen to others. Gentleness is a mark of true Christianity, and I'll I'll put these up. Um, a quote from Mark Twain. Kindness is a language which death can hear and the blind can see. Oh, I, oh how I, li I like that. It's, it's just this good experience, y'all, being gentle and, being, and how it brings about kindness that even the death can hear, death can hear and the blind can see. That's amazing. Um, True kindness demonstrates clearer than our words will ever do. Gentleness is a response to Christ's mercy and forgiveness. And here's the last quote from Max Lucado. I choose gentleness. Nothing is won by force. I choose to be gentle 
If I clench my fist, may it be only in prayer. If I make a demand, may it be only of myself. And then I'll leave some other uh, Bible verses about gentleness. But, um, man, choosing to be gentle is basically choosing Jesus. Jesus is more for the outcome of our salvation and good than it is to force us into being good. He is so gentle and kind, y'all. I just, I don't know what else to say other than I'm so grateful for his forgiveness and his mercy and his slow to anger and how he's patient and kind and compassionate. Well, I hope that this has blessed you in, in some way today and encouraged you. Um, so yeah, what are your thoughts about gentleness? Would you like to comment or, or write back to me? That'd be great. And please hit like, as, as you know, this does help the channel um, grow and it helps um, support it in a way. And it does encourage me back. So please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please share with maybe one person today. That would also help me and encourage me as well. So thank you so much for being part of this. And thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey today. All right. See you next time. Remember, give yourself permission to be embraced by grace. And we'll see you next week here at Tech Talks.